when it was announced that they were going to do a reboot of the Quantum Leap TV series, I wasn't really happy because I had watched some of the episodes from the, from the original Quantum Leap and I actually liked the show. It was really good, you know, really well done and everything. I saw no reason to go and to go and touch it again, especially when we got there to themselves exactly what they were going to be doing, the changes they were going to be making, the crap they were going to be putting in. And I said, nah, this is not looking very good. But when it premiered, I still said to myself, you know what? Let me not judge the thing too harshly. Let me take a look. And I watched the first two episodes. And the thing that stuck out to me immediately about this show. I mean, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't very good at all. Honestly, it wasn't very good at all. But the thing that stuck out to me immediately about the show is that the show had no heart. Absolutely no heart in it. You looked at that show and it felt as bland and as empty as possible. The characters, you couldn't, you couldn't get yourself attached to any of them because they just, they seemed like they didn't even want to be there along with you. You could tell the agenda that they were pushing and that is what was making it up. And it, it left the show feeling heartless and bland and bitter and you couldn't focus it at all. It, it, it honestly, the Lord reminded me of that show, Labre, even though, even though they want to say Labre, but it, it's actually Labre. I live in Trinidad, we have the Labre pitch league, so it's pronounced Labre. You know, the show basically fell down our hole, and now that was the whole thing about it, but that show had no heart. Quantum Leap had no heart. I looked at the first two episodes, and, and, I, and I could tell you the show had no heart in it at all. And I knew. This show wasn't going to make it. I say, if they push it for a second season, might just be to just push the woke agenda, but ain't no way it's going to make it to a, to a third season. I knew this show was done. Well, it was, it was just done. Well, I was right once again. It's an article there from Cosmic Book News. Woke Quantum Leap cancelled after two seasons. Second worst ratings on NBC. Show performed so bad, NBC Universal refused to move it to its Peacock streaming service. This is the guy who's quantum leaping. And this one here, I, I always forget his name because I have no interest in learning it other than the other. You understand? I mean, you could tell with the hair and the lipstick and, and the eyeshadow and all kind of thing, the agenda he's trying to push. The thing is, Again, I keep saying I, 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 never, I never, never remember his name because I, doesn't, I don't really care. The thing about it is that he was trying to be an actor, couldn't get hired. The minute, the minute you know, he decided to identify as non-binary or whatever the hell it was, oh, then came this role because that's the agenda that you keep pushing, idiots. Let's get into it. I told you this since day one. Well, yeah. I didn't tell you since day one, but I, I knew it was coming. So this guy, this person here is clearly correct. Who's writing this article? Let me see. Matt will glow in your head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now it is official. The Quantum Leap reboot has been cancelled after two seasons. Yeah. I, like I say, I watched the first two episodes and I said to myself, the show has no heart, no nothing in it. If it gets two seasons, we will only be because they want to push for the second season because of their agenda. But ain't no way they're going and get that third season. I knew that off the bat. And proven right. Exactly as I said, even though NBC Universal tried to make it so as if the show was a success from launch. It also, yeah, because they really didn't that day. I kept so I, I kept seeing the ads on NBC. You know, Quantum Leap is the best. Is the best new show of this season. Check it out. All kind of thing. I can get ready. And I'm like, Are these people serious? Yeah, yeah. It's also learned Quantum Leap had the worst, had the second worst ratings on NBC. Wonder who was the worst. It's also learned NBC Universal refused to move Quantum Leap to its Peacock streaming service. 
where it actually aired anyway. When the Quantum Leap reboot first aired, NBC Universal announced it was its best new series that aired on Peacock. But they were lying. Well, I, well, exactly as I said, that doesn't mean much because if it's at the top of the garbage pile, exactly, exactly, you could be the best, but if you're at the best at the top of the garbage pile, what does that say? You're still terrible garbage. That's it. We also see Scott Bakula made the right call not coming back. Oh, yes, he did. He wasn't coming back and I for one said thank you sir because you had no interest in coming back to this nonsense because at the end of the original Quantum Leap series, he decided to keep jumping. That's it. He decided to keep jumping, to keep doing what it is he had to do. That is what he, that is what he set out to do. That was it. It was, it was, it was a really good way to end the series to show that you know he decided to continue to do this rather than get the chance to go back home. He decided to continue to help people moving forward. But because these companies and these people who do this are so creatively bankrupt, they have to go back to the vault, take what's there and destroy it and look you in the eye and say, hey, you know what, you better love this, you know. You better love it, you know, or else. When fans walk away, they scream like babies because why you didn't you, you didn't love the very thing that they destroyed. You know, good for them. Ah oh, yeah yeah yeah, not a not not a straight white man to be found anywhere. Word about Quantum Leap getting cancelled comes via TV line in an interview. With Jeff Bader, President of Programming, Planning, Strategy at NBC Universal Entertainment, who explains why the series didn't move from NBC to airing exclusively on Peacock. Um, Bader explains that organized crime moved from NBC to Peacock because the show is a success. So that means if Quantum Leap didn't move, didn't didn't make the move, obviously Quantum Leap is not a success. Talks about how organized crime is a so when for us 80 percent of its viewing isn't in the time period where we schedule it is delayed on peak off, so it just makes it the word of move remove that to free up the time period. Okay. The site points out that NBC exec noted that it's a different discussion with quantum, which was just a much softer show performance. Why? Not softer, it had no heart. Absolutely none. It had no heart. The show was bland and just disappointing. Come back to this thing as well as the moment. Eh? Also, as TV line notes, the viewership decreased over 30% at all of the 12 original or acquired dramas that NBC aired this season. Its audience only best in transplants. Not moving to pick up also tells us not a lot of people watched Quantum Leap on streaming. So again, and we see Universal making it song as in I mean, was a was a big success out of the gate is pure spin. Or maybe it wasn't spin and people simply stopped watching. I try and club also cancel right. Quantum Leap um reboot stars Raymond Lee as Dr. Ben Song, Caitlin Bassett as Addison. Danny Hudson as Herbert Magic Williams, Mason Alexander Park, that's the name, as Ian Wright and Narissa Lee as Jen Cho, right? Mason Alexander Park, that's this person here. Let's take a look at this thing here, we'll just get a, a method as I don't know what I'm talking about. Quantum Leap Trans episode is a ratings low because people don't want to see these things. You understand me? They were handled years ago much better. You had stories that the stories that actually had some heart, actually had some or other things. So you could look at the story and say, well, okay, you know, this is what's happening. That's it. No. Now they want to shove it down your throat. Have you choked on it and tell they're telling you better swallow this and love it or else? Hundreds of thousands of fans tune out the latest episode of the reboot. Huh. 
The quantum leap ratings continue to tank as Monday's episode centering around a Latino transgender child suffers the lowest ratings of the reboot. People do not want these things, but they refuse to stop. The show went on a midwinter hiatus and with that audience also went on hiatus and hasn't come back. Monday's episode 12 let them play about a transgender boy slash girl who wants to play on the high school basketball team only saw 1.735 million viewers tune in with the episode getting a 0.3 rating according to the preliminary numbers. The previous one was episode 10 with 1.75 million views so depending on the final numbers Monday's transgender episode could be the lowest rating of the series to date. We also see that previous episode 11 had a decent amount of viewers but Monday's episode lost around 365,000 viewers. Regarding the episode I don't talk about it here um Okay, I haven't seen it, but I was still alive in 2012 and don't recall transgender children being much, being much of a topic, especially with Latino families. But it's obvious the work show creators want to virtue signal in order to fit with the times. What they mention is that, uh, that Quantum Leap also doesn't star any white male characters. Mason Alexander Park identifies as non-binary and sports a progressive cast which of course is all intentional. Senny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this this is the thing here. You want to play and since this is what I'm talking about no heart in the show. You're trying to force free something that doesn't make any sense and nobody's interested in it. If you had this transgender character wants to play on the girl was going to, it does not work. I've said this time and time again. You cannot if you're a male and you want to go through and everything to say a female, that's your business. That's your business. That does not mean that you should be allowed to do certain things. Because there's a reason sports are divided male and female. Because males have a genetic advantage over females. The fact that you know biological, I say because men are physically stronger than females. This is why if you put a, a person in there, even if, even, if, even, if, even, if, even if they claim to be transgender or they really are transgender or whatever, it's still, it is still an unfair advantage and should not work. But these things weren't happening back in 2012. But no, because these creators eat, sleep, eat, sleep and drink work, this is what they're putting into the issue. And this is why I said this, this show has no heart. So let me for none. Now look at some of, of the, episode, the episodes here for, and look at the way it just declines. I look off at, at episode 1, 3.348 million viewers. By episode 2, it was down to 2.772. Let's keep dropping lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. You understand me? By episode 9, it's down to 2.3. 305 million viewers. Episode 10, 1.704 million. Episode 11, it goes back up slightly to 2.10 2.10 million viewers. Then episode 12, 1.735 million viewers. This show is a disaster of epic proportions and never should have been made to begin with. Well, like I predicted, and like the writer of this article predicted, Quantum Leap has been cancelled, and if and I for one hope and pray they never bring it back. The original one was a masterpiece, and you had no reason to bring back this this work garbage and try to call it Quantum Leap. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, then hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell will provide every time I put a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.